All right, people. It is Afterburn back with you for my first official Afterburn reviews video. Uh, hopefully, I'll get something going with you know setups and uh, editing. That's what I was gonna say. Editing. Um, if you haven't picked it up yet. You must. It is great. Five Finger Death Punch, Right Side of Heaven, Wrong Side of Hell, Volume 2. Obviously, I got the Deluxe Edition. And the funny story about that, that poster, absolutely free. Wasn't intending on getting it, but the gentleman at FYE uh, forgot to call me when they had it in. I pre-ordered it. So they forgot to call me about it, and... I told them about, I told them that they had forgotten, and I got that as a way of apology. So, bonus. Um, if you can tell, I've got the box cutter in because I got something from BBTS. Yeah, Big Bad Toy Store for this and other great toys. Now. Uh, in doing the third-party stuff, obviously this is something not Hasbro or Takara. That, that is not a Hasbro or Takara item in this box. And I noticed that when other people do box videos, they open with the um, label showing. Why not? Open with the bottom showing. That way you don't have to see the label. I don't want you coming come to my house. So... <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know where that came from. It's like the old man. Ah, oh, get out of my heart, goddamn kids. <laughs> but this is from BBTS. They're sponsoring today's video. Not really. And we go inside. And yes, I opened it upside down. And for good reason, apparently. Let's see, we got the... Uh, Little standard BBTS upcoming figure card. Wow. Iron Man busts at the bottom there. Not bad. But this is cool. Transformers. I will not be getting Double Dealer. Per my set rules, my personal set rules, no repaints. Even though he is a new head. But Rhinox, gotta find you, Rhinox! Yeah. That goes away. Invoice. Meh. I know, right? Invoice in the trash. The best bubble wrap in the world, even though it's all hooked together. But there's a reason for today's video. And that's a pretty small box. Cause that's too large for what I ordered. Whatever. Yeah, sorry about my hair just came out of the shower. But anyways, as I drop my item, great. It's the reason I, I mentioned Double Dealer. It's because today's video focuses on yes, Mr. Blitzwing. So pull this, pull the stuff off, and everyone knows what this video is about. Hopefully, because it is not repro, because repro labels won't ship through BBTS. <laughs> Today is the X S S X F. It's hard to say that without going S X S X. Like you're 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 trying to say S X S, but in real in reality you're trying you're going. X S X, Blech. but yeah, the upgrade kit for Bitsy, and honestly, the only thing I could have done without is the head, and we'll get into that. So, no, it even has instructions on how to hold it. Wow. Okay. 
It, it actually has instructions on how to install the on how the shoulder piece sheet. The shoulder pieces work. That's not that's interesting. Trusty little box cutter and pop the ta tape. Ta I've not been able to speak well for days. Yeah. And pop up a little plastic tray. Oh, it's so precious. Yeah, nothing left. And it's all sealed up inside this. I don't think they should. I don't think they needed that much pla this much plastic to hold it in. Jeez. Before I get that open, let me get him switched. I don't know why I popped him into plane mode. Hopefully, that will hold itself. Okay. I have the hardest time remembering how this guy goes sometimes. Pop his feet open. Where did I put that missile? Oh boy. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Tank cannon missile. I don't leave home without it. Yeah, oh, yes, I yeah, I know the the drill. I should be doing this off camera. Or I should be doing this in a jump cut. Nah, I don't care. I really don't. I could honestly care less. Uh, I just don't have the technology tech no logical expertise required for jump cuts. I don't. I don't possess that that I don't possess the knowledge. It's a cry for help, people. If anyone knows of a good way of me for me to uh, edit my videos so I can get effects and stuff in here so I can get these videos to where I want them, please message me. Saying, and that that is an actual request. Actually, uh, if anyone knows of any good cheap video editing softwares on the market that I could potentially use that won't break the bank or my computer, please more please me let me know because I'm desperate, people. Desperation. Desperation. You never cease to disappoint. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> uh, well, for those of you who who celebrate, happy Thanksgiving, because this is probably the only thing. This is probably the only thing I'm going to do until Thanksgiving. Until after Thanksgiving, at least. All right. So. We got him basically into robot mode. Everyone knows the deal with with Blitzy. It's right here. That is the issue. So this kit is supposed to fix that. Plus give a few little extra add-on pieces that actually do work pretty well. So hopefully we can get this out without flying it. Yeah, oh, really. So we got two little missile pods. That's one. Come on. And two. We get a more size accurate gun. Pea shooter. Boomstick. Yeah. This goes in my spare parts drawer. Bam. And here's the problem that I have with this set. Mr. Angry Eyes! Number one, he don't look angry. 
terrible picture, but he doesn't. He's like he just looks content. That's a word. But you don't get. I mean, sure, he's got light piping. That's all well and good, but you screw up one glaring, glaring flaw. Well, not glaring. You screw up one glaring attribute that works in Blitzy's favor. Everyone knows Blitzwing. He's the schizophrenic, multiple personality, crazy guy who switches faces just as quickly as he switches modes. And he's got the angry face, he's got the calm, cool, collected face, and he's got the cuckoo face! With light piping, you remove that gimmick, and that's what, make that, that's what makes the stock head better. It's missing paint, I admit. It would have been cool to have the... to possibly have light piping. But the fact of the matter is, even though they're tough to move with, and they really do hamper the uh, ability of the nose cone with the head the, with the head shape, you're the whole reason Blitzwing exists is because he's crazy, crazy. He's nuts. He is absolutely nuts. And this is why this head stays. Honestly, this head is better in all manners and senses of the word because this gimmick, it is a gimmick, but the gimmick makes the toy work. The gimmick makes it work. Okay, SXS, I'm glad you decided to make this kit. And the reason you really buy this kit is for these. The shoulder pieces. But if you're going to make a new head, keep the face flipping detail. Because while this may... i to drop it. May, while the head may help the nose cone sweat, fold, uh, fold in more securely... It removes what's best about Blitzwing. You remove his ability to be the crazy guy. With this kit, you just get the angry face. And it's not even angry! It's not angry! What was so great about TFA's Blitzwing? One, the face flipping gimmick, and two, the triple change. The gimmick make the, made the figure. This doesn't make the figure. Light pipe. You can. I will sacrifice light piping for a gimmick that makes the character. Every time, if the gimmick makes the character, if the if the gimmick's in the head and it makes the character work. I will go with the gimmick every time. Let's find a red hair in his shoulders. Don't know how a red hair got in there. But that's my little rant on why I hate this head. Even though it will help, I, I you know. I hate it. Will I change it? Maybe. Not sure. I mean, if I could get the face flipping gimmick to fit this head, I'd go for it. If I can get his face flipping gimmick to go in here, I'll do it. I honestly will do it. I don't know. For the for the right size head. But my rant's over, so we're going to go to this. And this is what you get the set for. The shoulder the shoulder connectors. Because this set, this guy is notorious 
for being terrible at holding himself together. He's terrible at it. And I mean god awful. Now it's to, it's you know I understand why they had to do this in such a fashion but when you're sacrificing the figure you're sacrificing the stability of the figure just to make just to save on plat you're sacrificing the maneuverability of the figure to save on plastic Ooh, that's not good. You're sacrificing the figure to save on plastic. That's sad. And you know what? It's not a big deal. Because with the shoulder in place, I can do that and not have it lift up. And that is awesome. I, I, it's truly, truly the best thing that's ever happened to Transformers. Uh, uh, actually, no, I wouldn't say that. A lot of people are gonna would get on me for saying that, but uh, you know, oh, just hearing that click. There we go. You know, for the sake of it, taking the head out. I'm going to see what I can do with this. Ah, oh, boy. Help, helps to have a pocket knife handy. Let's see if I can get this screw out. Figure out. How the gimmick is supposed to work. Bear with me for a second, people. Oh my god, he's so boring. There, whoa. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Ah. Why are you on the floor? I close my closet. Helps to have a set of mini screwdrivers. Let's see. I don't have great workspace. And yes, that is my last name. Don't wear it out. Now let's see. I have removed the screw to his head. Oh no, he broke it! No, I didn't break it. Just trying to see... How this dumb thing all works. Whoa, okay. Is that it actually comes apart? Sorry if I'm being too quiet. I'm just trying to figure things out. His goofy head's like, I see you! Well, he's a com no, Blitzen was a complete wackadoodle. And yes, I did just use that word. He was nuts. 
I remember in TFA where where Bumblebee baited him into transforming into tank mode after he's when he was flying. Like that was a f even though I hated that series, that was a funny ass episode. Wow. Okay. That entire piece is what the head sits on. Okay. I see how crazy this was. His head is like this. You've got calm face, you've got angry face, calm face, and crazy face on that central spool. Now, if I tried, whoa! There goes a there goes a face. Ugh. Oh joy! Where'd it go? Is that it? There it is. Yep. Oh, I see what it is. I see how it works. Each of them has. Each of them has a little hole to it, and they all sit together. I get how it works. Now this could fit in here and still retain the gimmick. I wonder. Probably not. But I know I'm drawing dragging this on and on. A different screw. Holy crap. Make sure I don't lose that. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that wouldn't work. Ah! Lost his neck. Oh boy. It's hard when you have a dark carpet. Things just tend to disappear on you. Didn't help that it's purple either. Oh, there it is. So, yeah, I get why they made it this way. I am not happy, but you know what? I can always save the other head because I will put this one on. I bought the kit. Why not? Right? Buy the kit, use all the pieces. Why? Right? Right. Jeez, 23 minutes. Ah! Dropping everything. Okay. Did I put that in backwards? No, I didn't. But yes, I did. I put it in upside down. Ah. Oh boy. That goes in the right ear hole. Doesn't it? Yes. Yes, it does. Okay. I'm just finish. Fiddle with this until it all fits. Ew. Oh, no. Did I play with this? Did I fiddle with it too much and not let it go back to, to not let it go back together? No. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. To attach this screw. Do a little screwing. Ah, uh, I 
see what you did there. Just to fit it all back together. And hey, I may have just loosened up the spin. Oh, I loosened up the spin! Oh my god, I did it! Wasn't expecting I was able, going to be able to do that, but it worked! Oh, okay, there it is. Like, th th this head was tight. Like, you couldn't freely flip the heads. And I think me pulling it apart just now stripped enough plastic off that interior spindle to the point where it will flip freely. But I'm going to throw this on. I'm gonna. Well, I am gonna see if it works. First of all, if it does, if it, do, it changes anything, I'm just gonna stay. I don't, well, it does give his head more emote goodness. That's always good. Oh yeah, big, big boomstick. Yeah, big boomstick. Boom. And then you just. Oh, that's that, that's brilliant. There's two couple little screw holes on his on the back of his shoulders that are five millimeter ports. That just works brilliantly. A couple of missiles creeping out over his shoulders. Big boomstick and the piddly ass sword. Get on it, Shapeways or anyone. Any third-party toy that can make a better sword for Blitzwing than that thing, where his gun is just as big. Eh. So yeah, there's the full kit assembled. I put it on. Now let's see. I'm going to try this. If the head changes, if it changes anything, then if the new head changes anything about that nose cone falling into place, I will leave the head on there. Otherwise. Gimmick head. Let's see. God damn it! It will actually hold itself. That's unfriggin' believable. But then again, you have to force it to come up. I think it's because the screw's a little too... The spring, uh, sorry, is loose. So it does feel very loose. But, you know, I don't actually flip the faces enough times, because he's just sitting on my shelf, because he usually just sits on my shelf, so I don't flip the faces enough to get the gimmick to work for him. So you know what? New head stays. I have changed my mind about the new head. <laughs> so there it is. In full. Would have liked if the purple matched. Purple on the gun matched the purple on his hand. That really doesn't, but... It's a minor gripe. But, yes, the real reason you get this set is for the shoulders. And... Sure... Darker purple would have fit that, but that's easily fixable. It's got to get the right shade. To get the right shade of purple, you can easily paint this stuff. It's not t it's not hard. But yeah, um, soon I will be getting the Reaper label set for him, and I'll show you this and that together. So here's hoping. Catch you later, burn. Catch you later, burn fans. Thank <laughs> you.